Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today it is on the recent Quidditch match set. So on the front of the box here, see LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, and order that we have seen for a little while, and Wizarding World logo in the corner, picture of everyone in action, of course, all the mini things included, and recommended ages 7 to 14, set number 75956, has 500 pieces. And then put the back, you see the yeah. other positions of it, all the features of it, and yeah. And now on to the manual, which comes with two in there. One's much thicker than the other. Whereas the first one of which, on the back of which, after the online survey, and then on the back of the other is after the Hogwarts corridor sets and how they come together, and all the pieces that come with the set, add for the mini things included in it, and add for the Fantastic Beasts sets, which I'll also be reviewing, then add for Lego Life with Harry in there, and the final steps. First of which for the mini fix is Harry Potter himself, which I see in his Quidditch outfit, and as you see, he is, has the uh, short legs, of which, well, suiting to this scene, because for his appearance in Sorcerer's Stone, there's a home room there, and also a nicely molded uh, snitch piece. Unlike before, where it was just a single cone stud, kind of funny. Besides that, the face print, which is kind of common in most other sets, and does have the cape, which is the thicker, mat loose material, and back of which, some good back torso print of which, and there's his double side face, of course. Next of which is Oliver Wood, of which about the same torso print as Harry had. And, and also same broom piece skin and uh, face print and hair piece, kind of the same as from old, earlier sets, of course. And back torso print, same as Harry's. And also no double sided face. So. And next is Marcus Flint, which in his uh, Slytherin Quidditch outfit and with a black broom, and also on the top part of it, which is a stunt shooter that has a red minifig head, but representing a quaffle and shooting off like so. Anyways, the uh, face print of which kind of same, and hair piece of which kind of, which is the same as the earlier Ron Weasley's, and also also no double side face of course, and same thick material for the capes, and also it's a nice back torso print, and not as only like prints, but it's forgivable. Next to which is Lucian Ball, which same torso print and whatnot, and also same black broom, and has a different build for the back, of course, and, and face print and hair piece, which kind of suiting for it, and unlike the others, has double side feet, so of course, and also same back torso print, of course. Next to which 
is Zephyrus Snape. And it's, as you see, is a torso print and leg print. Uh, done quite good. Which and is the nice black one suiting to him. And also herpes that works right for him. And also has a good face print. And a bit too bad that it ain't glow in the dark like in the older sets, of course. But it's forgiven. And there's, there's his back torso printing and has a good double side face suiting to most of his appearances. And last but not least is Hermione Green. It was with her uh, student uh, outfit on and also a hairpiece which was used in the Stranger Things Upside Down set. And the face print uh, which quite nice and all. And also some good back torso print to it. And her double side face also nice. And, and also using the short legs suiting to her appearance in Sorcerer's Stone. First of all, we do you get this uh, little two by four brick with a jumper and a trophy above, suiting to winning the game. Also get this little a little treasure chest which open up, and there's an extra quaffle and a couple of studs, suiting to when all for Wood presents it to Harry. First of which for the builds is the Quidditch ring, so which have a lot of good green and tan pieces suiting to it. And I wonder what these clear pieces are for. I think good use of them, and so you can put a figure on it. And we'll look from the back. And Octave size is a little stud shooter, and it's supposed to represent a bludger and to shoot off a stud, of course. And you can get two of these identical towers. There's, of course, one that's representing Ravenclaw and one representing Hufflepuff. And all the builds are kind of the same except for one. And that's, he has the megaphone where the announcers would mention it on. And, well, good use of the like the jagged slopes there, giving it the most perfect shaping. And how and you wonder what those pins are for is because so it has a bit of a modulability factor and the bomb part of which also has those A pieces to give it an angular look but as from the back part of which has a couple of uh, Technic beams in green of which so if you're a mockist you would like using that and see so how that little uh, Bonacle Borok eye and so you can switch them back and forth, being as the goalie. You have these little column pieces which are attached to a single stud so they kind of fall off a little easily. You can see one's much shorter than the other two and of course middle one's a little elevated. And what I quite like are these new ring pieces which work perfectly for it. And, and of course you can like and shoot and like get that and of course shoot the quaffle through it to start the game or at least make a point point. and whereas for the Hufflepuff tower have this little uh, section of it where you have store all these little tiles which are all stickered and they are of which the four houses Let's see of Slytherin Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And whereas for the front part of it, which does have those like corner brackets which to place the tiles on for whichever is having the match with. You can like fold this part down and hold you a couple of these like flat studs to put on the little Technic pins there so you can make the scores. And you can slip them on right through this little slot here. Which works good. 
and well. So now on to the other couple towers. Of which this one shirt is Slytherin. Which is identical to that of well, the other towers, but mostly to the Ravenclaw tower. But of course with some green swapped around with the blue. And of course different colors for that Slytherin and same foliage piece as that one did. But what's a little different is from the back part of it has this little technic gear of it where you can rise it up and if you look from the front you can, uh, you can like rise it up and there's a little flame to it representing the scene of when Hermione you know, uses a flame spell on Snape. But aside from that you do get some good use of all these jagged slopes up here and a lot of these like uh, one by two by two bricks. So it's nice for blocking, you know. And lastly is the Gryffindor Tower, which built a little differently for, than the other two, but uh, there's a reason for it. But as you see, similar builds to that of the Hufflepuff Tower, with, but with red instead of black, well suiting for it, of course. And you have the like large window piece it's there, of course. And you wonder why it kind of flops open is because because it's well suiting to when people fly the brooms and uh, go right up through the cloth covering covering this course. And I see it has the like uh, curved slopes, so it doesn't get stuck on anything when it drops down. So it kind of swishes back and forth real smoothly, nicely. And again, enough space to fit a mini thing on it, of course. And so now, on to with the final verdict on this. Although, what I think they also could have done is make some more clear stands to fit all your figures onto it, so like they're all really flying around, of course. Oh, hang on. So anyways, now on to the final verdict is overall, this I think a pretty cool set. Or really, probably the best Quidditch match set that we've gotten. Unlike how a couple older versions that had just one tower of the houses and this would have towers for all four houses. And of course get tiles that are of each house of course. Perfect for mock making and stuff. But also get plenty of good pieces like for the quidditch rings and the snitch and all. And, yeah. and also the minifigs of which good inclusions to it and well suiting to sequins and sorcerer's stone of course and if you're making a large quidditch match mock then go ahead and pick this up and if you're wanting to add this to your harry potter collection then also go ahead and pick it up and that's about it with this video like please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching